Sunday. The theology and subtext of hymns was lost on him. He did not realize God was white until he searched to find a church. He had never thought about the color of God before then. He was in England now and wanted to go to the church of his island, the Church of England. He was dressed in his Sunday best, a mark of respect. No one sat beside him. Yet, he was minded to bring an offering to the king. Unlike the cheerful, uplifting praise he was used to, the service was perfunctory and somewhat repressive. The pipe organ was very loud, a deep and morbid groaning cloud drowning out all his joyful sound and thankful worship. Thankful that he could have travelled so far to the motherland that, unlike many, he had found work quickly, that his wife and family had followed soon. Thankful worship bounced back at him. However hard he tried to sing, his baritone was ricocheting off the ancient stone walls. A soft heart met with cold bench and stifling incense. Afterwards, the reverend asked if he would be so kind as to not return. His presence made the congregation uncomfortable. They were not used to worshipping with coloreds, the reverend said in whispered uneasiness. He felt he should be careful not to offend an ageing, already dwindling number. But what about the Lord of all kindliness and grace? A respectful argument offered to save face. Whose hands are swift to welcome, whose arms are ready to embrace. What about all things bright, sir, and the God Almighty, who has made all things well? Surely you can tell he has made me. Oh, of course, you poor fellow, said the reverend. But this same God has ordered your estate. He made a place for everything, and your place is not here.